Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Kippy and a Kami reaction. I don't know how to feel about this. This one is called Goodbye Doug in parentheses RIP. So, uh, I think Doug I passed away or something. I'm not sure. Um, I don't like Doug after everything is done, but I will totally get it. It Bridget's a bit sad in this video because of what this video is about. I mean, it's her dad, and, and with all the bad things he has done, um, I get Bridget for mourning his loss. If there even is one, I don't know for sure yet. So, um, I just figured, uh, I just figured I'd, I would uh, bring that up in here before starting the reaction. So, but yeah. With that being said, let's uh, see what happens in this video. Another interesting video here. This was recorded in 1996, as you can tell by the date down there, you know, December 24th, 1996. Just want to give a heads up for anyone who didn't understand that, but yeah. best friend is on the way to the hospital now. I got like a lot on my mind. I don't know how to just, like say it though. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you there, Bridget. But again, I, I get that you're sad. Even though he's done a lot of bad things, you know. I may not like him at all, but I, I get you being sad about that and normally we see it behind the camera in this chair when the bad news is being delivered on this channel through these vlogs but for this it's i think it's right that you know it's bridget that's there you know because this is her dad that we're talking about you know doug west so yeah yeah like there's so much like i you know there's a version of him that i loved very much There was a version of him that I never wanted to be around at all. Yeah, and that's referring to the bad things he's done over the last few years. And and one of the biggest reasons why I can't really feel sad about this whole duck thing is because of what he said to uh, Kate Brandon Cameron and Bridget. Don't darken my door doorstep when you lose the baby this was before mia was born so and this is back when uh star fair was quite big mcjuggernuggets bookie kip and came out and plenty of other people uploading on it so yeah so i don't know i just remember the, the good memories five years of what he did yeah i know yeah it has been about five years hasn't it i didn't even realize i don't remember when doug started this like what year i, I mean 
I remember when it happened, or like, I remember it happening, I just, I never really thought about when this haul started, I imagine it was probably 2018 or 2019 or something like that, but yeah, because in 2017, I actually talked with Doug for a few minutes, um, when Bridget invited me to Friday 13th, she, she was, uh, she posted a tweet out in 2017, 2018, um, for fans to play uh, Friday the 13th with Cabrera Camera Bridget and Doug was there too. So, um, yeah. I only talked to him once, though. But, yeah. Ego destroys you. And now kills you. I never, like... I never wished, like, death on Doug or anything, but I just... I just... I wanted him to, like pull his head out of it how he was treating you how he was I mean the man emotionally attacked you for five years yeah I know I mean I he took his hate to the grave he never you guys there was never a moment in time where he just let up a little bit which like makes you wonder What's going on? Yeah. Like, I think we're just asking for, like, an autopsy. Yes. Because we want to know. I want to check his brain. We need to know about his brain. Like, normal people don't just do this. Normal people? For five years. You guys, we're not going to get into everything. You know the story. Yeah. You guys know. I mean yeah, I know the whole story to it. Even Swift. Offered to be cameraman when Capiana Camera and Bridget um, was doing this special vlog thing uh, to confront uh, Doug. And that was like 2019 when that happened. I know it was 2019 because the whole COVID freak out with everybody wasn't a thing yet. So I know it was before that. If anything, it was probably at the start of 2020. But I don't know that. I don't know that 100% though set over money and he took that into a fight against his own daughter until the day that he died yeah that's no way to live no it's definitely not i hate that he's gone but i mean there was nothing i could have done more these past five years there's been like several times in the past two years where we actually thought it was already over yeah like bridget called him when he was on his deathbed yeah when was that, like 2021? I really, it was something like that. He was on his deathbed, he was supposed to go, and he made it out. Then you called him days later. I did. You've, you've gone live for three years talking about me and Michael. I've gone three years. Over nothing. About you. Over nothing. <laughs> over something so dumb and senseless. Money. That's what it is. It's money. Money. Yes. And it sucks because I, I willingly helped you all the time because I wanted to. Yeah, and that's a stupid reason to distance yourself from your daughter to Doug. If money was all that caused that, that's just ridiculous, you know. There's no one should be upset at someone over just money, you know. Especially because this was Bridget's dad that was doing all this, you know. It's crazy. Ew, because I loved you. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough? It's, it ended up not being enough, and that's what happens. Well, what about that time you said uh, you snuck in the hospital in scrubs uh, to see Mia? What about that? That's true. It's not true, Dad. Oh, sweetheart, it was. Oh, God. The guy had his problems. Yeah. He made it our problems. Yeah. But I hope he's at peace now. I do too. I really do. Last year, I was genuinely shocked. Yeah, me too. He showed up to our house. Yeah. We had, like, an amazing conversation. Well, I mean, you got some stuff to work out with your daughter, man. Right? When we get it worked out. Because it, it's this was his first part of it. I wish he would talk. Well, I feel like every time, every time Bridget feels like she wants to talk to you, she'll get a live stream clip. Well, same old.
And you believe everything is on live stream, don't you? Well, you're saying you're it. You're talking you're, it. You're the one saying it. It's not like some fake dog. It's you. Well, it's fake. It's you. It's a there, fake. There's not two dogs. Sure there is. It's your face. No, it ain't. Speaking. I don't understand. And things are, like, patching up despite something coming out and he was like making death jokes about me i still sent him sixteen hundred dollars wait did he i don't remember that oh wow because i thought you know maybe maybe he was joking about the death jokes and maybe he wants to actually patch things it up. seemed like he like we extended the guy an olive branch and he took it and he apologized and it looked like things were gonna like happen yeah. We even let him meet his grandkids. Yeah. He, he did. met his grandchildren for the first time. And Four hours later, he's back on his live stream talking about the family. He said you took the money back. He said that we didn't get him a room. That like. Yeah, and I don't know why. Like I thought it, it was just weird. Like he just came over for money. Clearly, that's all he wanted. He didn't care about anything else. Bridget, it's not your fault. I know. I just want you to remember that. It's just, it's weird. I know. You all right? I'm not feel. This is, you, you're supposed to feel however you feel. This is your moment. Nobody can tell you how to feel in something like this. I know. You guys, he yeah, that's all Bridget there. I mean, it's her dad, so how she takes it is up to her. No one can really get on her or say anything about it. So, I mean, I may, I may not like Doug, but I get, I get it. Bridget said about this, you know, because this was her dad, you know. He kept this bit going until he died. Yeah. He was writing Bridget three days ago, telling her that no matter how she feels about him. He's going to be her problem even when he dies. And it's like, why? And then he was like, you guys aren't married. Not according to the court records. He was on, he was, that was on a live stream. He I know. was live two weeks ago. I don't know why, why? Saying that we're not married. He's checked the court record. It's, it's crazy to me. It's, it's nuts. I would never do this to. So, Doug was still doing this crap recently. They, they just brought up something from two weeks ago. That's, that's crazy. Oh my lord. Well, I guess that's not going to be happening anymore now, but damn. Our kids. No. Like, not even a percent of it. So you guys, Doug is gone. I don't know what this vlog is going to be. I mean, we, we actually filmed an entire vlog, but I'm not going to release it in this because it's a really happy video, and I don't want people to be like, oh, you guys are celebrating the dog is gone. No, so we don't do that. We don't do that. I need fucking therapy with, for him. I really do. That's okay. I need therapy for my parents. <laughs> you know? Please, they're nothing like him. <laughs> defined by the things we've lived we're defined by who we are as people I know your dad does not define you I know you define yourself, your children define you the life you're living defines you you're a great person I wouldn't be here without you <laughs> I beat that and you deserve to be happy Like, I don't know how you're feeling right now. I just don't know how to feel. Like, I have some memories from, like, childhood. And, you know, uh, I'm just sad, but I don't know why I'm so sad. That That's what where I'm at. But I'm sad. I'm very sad. I mean, look, you're, you're, Bridget, you're sad because your father's gone. And he might not have been the best father. You know, especially at the end. He was a pretty terrible father at the end. Yeah. But you have... He's your father. I feel like he hated me. 
He may have. I, I can't. I think he did. I still have recordings. Like, remember when he was here on our anniversary? Uh, I, I used to, like, record a lot of the conversation. He was, like... He was talking about killing you, yeah. Yes, know, like, twice in a row. Like, he hated me. He just wanted money. And it makes me sad. And I'm sad that he's gone. It feels weird to do a rest in peace video. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm sh- on him. But there's, where's the happiness? I know, I don't know. You know, like, when you look at your dad's hands... And you want to cry. Right. You got that, right? Right, yeah. Well, that's how I feel about him. That's how I felt about him since I was six when he told me, when I was laying on his chest, he was like, I'm going to die one day. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, I hear your heartbeat. He's like, it's going to stop one day. And then when I was 13, um, he was like, I'm going to die from diabetes. Like, he's made his poor help. A, a guilt trip in my mind like i'm i'm wired and f- up because of it and i i don't know yeah, so yeah doug doug is just is not a good person or was not a good person i should say now um for saying that to bridget uh, that that one who says that to a six-year-old and, and and then and then when bridget was 13 that other thing that um doug said that's just ridiculous I mean, yeah, rest in peace, Doug, but at the same time, we, you can't forget all the bad things he's done in the last five years, so. So I think about his hands, and I'm like, those are very sad hands. It's hard to explain. Fuck him!
doesn't care that his daughter doesn't want him in his life that was her decision wow just wow the next reaction is going to be related to this Doug thing as well um because right there Doug passed away RIP um that's and that's literally going to be the next reaction however that reaction is not going to be done right now because uh I um, want to save a few of these Kippy and Kim reactions for tomorrow. And then that'll, well, I'll probably be caught up with Kippy on the camera. I don't want to show too many reactions in one day. I did five out my reactions. It's about the same with Kippy on the camera now. So, and I might do some shorts soon as well. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one. And, uh, if I do any more reactions today, I'll probably do some more after now. Uh, I want to wait on Boogie until I catch up on Kippy and the camera, and then I can worry about it.